All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and today we got some Flyers news. Uh, Linus Hoberg has signed his entry level contract. Uh, you may remember when I did this video, I've also talked about this before on the podcast and, and, and with Jamie and your even Flyers and the Gritty and stuff like that. Um, that was actually a long time ago. Uh, but, you know, we talked about these prospects and who we think will get signed and stuff. I made the video about it um, and I said David Bernhardt because of his size. Um, and now the other day there was something that came up that Wyatt Kalnick was supposed to go pro because that was the whole thing why the Flyers weren't, weren't going to sign Hoberg and Bernhardt because they were kind of waiting to see what Wyatt Kalnick was going to do, whether he was going to go back to college and finish his senior year, or if he was going to turn pro and come play, uh, up here with the Flyers and things like that. Now that the thing is, is that the NCAA, the NCAA next season is basically unknown. No one knows if they're going to play. Kalnick said he would turn pro, so... Right there, the Flyers had uh, 48 of 50 contracts, and now today uh, they signed at Linus Hoberg uh, on cap friendly. It says they have 48 of 50, uh, but uh, after signing Hoberg, which is good. Um, and this is the official statement here from the Flyers uh, on their Twitter. Official, we've signed uh, defenseman Linus Hoberg to an entry-level contract, which will begin in 2020-21. Hoberg was selected as the club's fifth-round pick, 139th overall in the 2016 NHL entry draft. So, this is a really nice signing. As I said in the last video I made about these two players, Bernhardt and Hoberg, they're both really good defensemen. And the thing is, is that they're not like offensive defensemen. It's just Bernhardt has some more size. Uh, and Hoberg, he's very good. He's a great defensive defenseman. He can move the puck well. Uh, I'm really excited for him. I think he's going to add some stability into the lineup. And the thing is, too, is that you can never have, you know, you can never have enough depth, right? That's the thing. Like, you, you can have the, uh, as much depth as you want, and that's the thing that really has been the story for the Flyers this season, and it looks like that's going to be continued for years and years to come because they keep making great signings, um, and this is a really, really nice one. I love Hoberg. He's a very good, solid defenseman, and I'm really excited to see him on the Phantoms. Uh, now, really, the next thing we're kind of looking out for is what happens with David Bernhardt if they sign him. I'm now that they have signed Hoberg, who knows what they do. Um, and also, you have to see what happens with uh, Wyatt Kalanick. Now, with my opinion is that I, since they've signed Hoberg, I don't think they're going to sign Bernhardt, which does stink because I think they're both really good defensemen. Uh, but really, the Flyers couldn't go wrong here. It was either you get one, you get the other, or you don't get them both. Because if anything, they could have both walked. Um, it, but thankfully, the Flyers were able to sign Hoberg. So let me know what you guys think below on Linus Hoberg. Uh, and then as you see basically here, like on the stats, uh, he's not really like an offensive defenseman. That's the thing. Like he's kind of just like a more like solid kind of like two way guy moving the puck defensive. Um, he has, he's got some okay stats, five goals, nine says 14 points, uh, minus 14. But as I've said before, the Swedish elite league isn't an easy league. It's probably like the third hardest league in the world. So it's, it's pretty good. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think below on Hoberg and let me know what you think on the signing. Uh, remember, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.